Order and the Horde of Life! Sweet, that'll be useful. But what? What do you mean the past? Uh, well, we kinda can't do any time. Oh, hello. Hey, guys! The phase of the has been completed. We, sh we could finish it quickly because of Mr. Shannon's incredible scientific skill. Gagas is attacked from, the, uh, from our exact location, but he's attacking from many years in the past. Mine. You must warp to the past and fight, but this is very hard for me to tell you, but And he walks away for no general in particular reason. In order to defeat Gargas, who is attacking for the past, you must warp to the past. This can be done way by the phase of Sora 3. However, the machine cannot warp living things. Uh, I mean life forms. Life is demolished in the process of warping. The only way to accomplish the time travel is to transfer your brain program into a robot and send the robot to the past. The transfer means that your spirit will go with the robot, while your body is left behind. I cannot promise that your spirit will come back after the battle of the past, yet you must understand that the four of you are the chosen ones. Do you still wish to face Gygax by traveling to the past? Heck yeah! Mm, you accept this well knowing that you may not be able to return from your current form. Is that right? Yep. Yes, I see. You have really such a mind to this. Let me take a good look at you now. Yes, please give me that red cap. Ready? Stand by! Yeah. What's happening right now is exactly what you're thinking. They're playing surgery! Although I don't know what's with the flashing, that thing kind of confuses me. Ness, Paula, Pooh, Jeff, my son, there's no turning back now. Ness, activate the phase of three by your own hand, thereby following your own destiny. Will you do so? Yep. Only a few people will know of your amazing courage, but the number of people you saved through that bravery is immense. I feel very fortunate to present all the beginning of this unmonumental undertaking. Whoa, 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 it's going white. Oh boy. Time travel, as far as I can see in other media, is never a good thing. And Jeez, this is getting trippy. Whoa. Uh -huh. Okay, I may not be able to hear the music, but I know for a fact what this music sounds like. It's creepy. It's perfect for the upcoming battle. And here we got a couple of the last enemies. We got a wild and woolly shambler and an ultimate octobot. And I'm going to go ahead and rock them. We're going to go ahead and rock them. Okay, and I will just shoot you. Uh, why do I keep attacking them? What, what? Time to show up, PSA Starstorm Omega! Yeah. That's pretty devastating, if I do say so myself. Falls down 68, offense by 2, defense by 1. Oh, baby! Speed by 3, IQ by 1, luck by 2, HP by 1, PP by 5. 
Now, there are a couple enemies here that carry some pretty nice pickups. However, I'm not gonna spend the whole episode doing that. We got a squatter demon! If I'm not mistaken, all you have to do is just pretty much get a few attacks on him, and one round should get rid of him. Yep, yeah, especially when you do that! Who's level 66? Offense by 2, defense by 2, IQ by 1, HP by 2, PP by 2. Nice! Keep it coming! Keep it coming! Uh, I think there's one more enemy, but that won't come until later. Oh no! Oh, why do I have to put up with you right now? Uh, yep, this guy's the nuclear reactor bot. He is worse than the reactor bot from before. And yikes, he turned into a reactor bot, which is very good. That is practically the only use of these damn enemies. Is the fact that um, when uh, Pooh copies them, he's actually able to heal your allies. See? Although it's really hard to tell who he's gonna ally. There we go. And ouch. Okay, keep it coming, keep it coming. Stop it! Okay, that should take care of the Octobots, which means we are left with this jerk. Okay, Paula, don't be wasting all your PP. We kind of need that. Although, there is something else about this reactor bot that we all know well. Ugh. I hate reactor bots. I hate reactor bots! Crap. 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 Why won't you die?! I don't like you, Reactor Bot! You are an evil enemy! You are annoying! I don't want to play with you anymore! Crap. Okay, there we go. Ow! Ow! Ugh! Of all enemies, it has to be that one. Jeez. Oh, well, no big deal. Well, yeah, this area, it's... It has that feel to it. I don't know how else I can really describe it. It's ominous. It's scary. It's haunting. It's annoying as all hell! Screw this! Crap. Crap. Thank you. Ugh. I don't want to put up with those enemies. I'll, I'll put up with someone else, but... Ooh, back attack. Okay, well, he's shamblers, so I'm gonna go ahead and just rock their world. Bash the ultimate, because he's the main problem. Wait, whoa, how come... Oh, did I go after the wrong enemy? I think I might have. Strike that, he's gone. And Jeff's L66, offense by one, luck by one, HP by one, nice, keep it coming. And what do we got here? The legendary bat! Alright, then I will switch that out, cause heck to the yeah! Oh sweet, another back attack. Ah! Screw this! I'm sorry. If there's any enemy I will run away from, it will be the reactor bot. Ooh, shiny. Ah, bad shiny! Bad shiny! You're not supposed to change me! Oh, you just moved me. However, there is another enemy we need to take on. And here he is, the final Starman! But I will try and see if he has a shield on him, because I am not sure about that. Oh, crap, I just realized I probably should put a shield on this. Oh, this could be bad. Okay, Paula's good. Oh, wow. This is bad. Um, uh, what do I want? Defend. Oh, no, 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 Paula. You're the only one that can really do anything, so... Go ahead and try to freeze him, Jeff. Uh, defend. 
Defend. Oh! Bleep! I knew I should have put a shield up! Oh! I thought you didn't have a shield! Ah! Damn it! Jiminy Christmas! Yeesh! Okay. Pooh, we need ya. Oh my god. That did not go well. Simple as that. Okay. Paula. Uh, you know what? Go ahead and try the secret herb. So that way we don't have to waste anything. Thank you. God, that got insane. And did I see, do I seriously not? Oh, right. Duh, it helps if I use the right move. There. That got crazy. Oh god, not another one of you! Uh, just kill him! Whoop his eyes out! Or, wait, does he even have eyes? I I'm not gonna get technical with that, I just wanna kill him. Okay, he's gonna deflect a little bit too much. That'll get rid of it. Oh wow! I didn't mean him, I meant the shield, but whatever works. Yeesh. Oh, wait, I want the butterfly. That was crazy. Ooh, shiny! Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to go back in there. There we go. Ooh, butterfly. Dang it, he could have gotten caught in the corner. Okay, uh, can I run away? Oh crap, I just realized this could be very bad. Yep, this is very bad. I have really got to plan this out better. Run away, run away, run away. Thank you. This is not going well. Okay, PSI, life up, Omega again. Get over here, butterfly. Well, isn't this a good start? Me running away from a few battles. Joyous of joys. Oh, where'd you come from? Ooh, uh. God, screw that. PSI shield. Jeff, shield killer. Who? Go ahead and try to be the final star man. Crap! Man, how is he faster? Alright, at least this way the final star man isn't gonna get anything on us. He's finally the. Ugh. Oh, wow, jerk. But, whoa, where'd you get the power shield? Try, pal. All right, heal and pause back. Oh crap. Uh, PSI. I don't want to risk it. PSI thunder, cause thunder pierces shields. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of you with the heavy bazooka. Poo. Recover. Someone again, please. I don't want to die. Oh sure, now the thunder hits! Great shot. Crap! Okay, Ness, as long as you don't get hit by it, you're good. Wait, what? Why is he whispering? Oh! Whoa! Screw this! I'm taking the risk! Just, just go ahead, go ahead. 
Yeah, who's dead anyway? Okay, Starman dead. You're dead. Yeesh. I am not having that much luck. Okay, let's try to bring Pooh back. Thank you. Seriously, why are there so many enemies? You know what? Screw it. Nuclear reactor. I don't think so. Here, we're here. Oh, wait a minute. There's still one enemy. I didn't get to face. Yes, I know. I'm going back to fight an enemy. Isn't that kind of surprising? But we need to get him separated from the group. All right, here he is, the Bionic Kraken. Uh, the Bionic Kraken, he holds a weapon that uh, is a 1 in drop, but it's uh, quite possibly the best weapon in the game. And, whoa, I have never knew he had that attack. Die soon, die soon. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, die, 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 die. Thank you, good night. Then Paul's now 69, guts by one, HP by two. Okay, now that I'm satisfied, you're gonna wanna have everybody healed. Early warning, you're going to want them have healed. And look at this area, just look at it. Look at the little uh, tubes and how they're pulsating and gooey. Ugh. You can actually walk on the thin ones too. This area is absolutely effed up. Like, it is screwed up beyond proportions. Whoa. What the heck is this? I don't know, but I think I just pissed it off. Oh. Oh! What the f There's something wrong with this picture! But, oh. What? are you doing here? Myth, are you surprised? It's me, Pokey. I just only the strong and able. That's Pokey. You guys look pathetic. The Apple of Enlightenment has already made a prediction, but I will let that Apple of Enlightenment prediction take place. You guys will be beaten by Gygas. Gygas will be stronger and more powerful entity than any other. Why? Because of me. I was led by Gygas and now I'm here. The Apple of Enlightenment couldn't predict this. Master Gygas, no. Gygas is no longer the wielder of evil. He has become the embodiment of evil itself, which he can now control on his own. He is the evil power. Finally! I have been waiting to do this! Bring it on, you son of a bitch! Whoa! Yeah! That's how long I've been waiting for this. Uh, early warning, you can't... Don't attack Gygas right now. Go after this jerk! And yes, I am aware. I cursed strongly. This guy has it coming. Oh wait, I think he might have a shield, so best to double check. But yeah, that's how long I've been waiting to do this. I am ready to kill this jerk. Three. There's our target. Oh, right. I forgot he can still attack. Luckily, it was only with beta, which means it won't uh, totally kill us. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's gonna really stick a gas to uh, lower a lot of offense slash defense. And he doesn't have a shield, okay. But yeah, I have been waiting. This kid. Like, I have been absolutely waiting. He is going down. With a multi bottle rocket and a PSI freeze! And yeah. Oh! Oh crap! I forgot! Hurry, 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 hurry. Yeah. 
Oh, I just got to Jeff. Come on, we gotta keep taking this guy down. He will not. He better not get the better of us. And I will try and bring Paula back. Get it, you're lowering your offense defense. Okay, Alpha I can do. Especially when it doesn't even work. Hey, Bazooka. Dang, we are doing some massive damage on this guy. And that's what I've been wanting to do for Lord knows how long. And I will use the heavy bazooka, bazooka. We are going to take this guy down without bully because he never sees it coming. He won't see it coming. Oh, what? Oh, of course. Uh. Uh, screw it. I think I'll just go ahead and uh, put this on Paula. See, I called it good. Even though it doesn't do much. Alright, Rocket is protected by shields. Remember that. Yeah, it, it's even better when he misses half the time. Oh! I understand you guys already claim to be heroes. Well, it's a gazillion years and yearly for you to oppose Gygas. You must feel pretty stupid to keep fighting without even knowing what Gygas looks like. If you were ever to see Gygas, you'd be so petrified with fear. You'd never be able to run away. That's how scary it is. So do you want me to turn off the devil's machine? Well, prepare to be amazed. Terrifying? I'm terrified too. Gagas cannot think rationally anymore, and he is even aware of what he's doing now. His own mind was destroyed by his incredible power. What an almighty idiot. Yep, that's what he is. <laughs> and you, you will be just another meal to him. Ladies and gentlemen, Gagas. Ugh. Yeah. Bet you didn't see this coming. <sighs> All you can really do at this point? Unload. Shoot whatever you can. And why is Paula holding a bottle rocket? <sighs> Ugh. Defense shower. Why didn't I put that on earlier? Uh, Starstone! Right. Uh, Bash? Oh, wow. All right, that's because I have the badge on. And shoot! I didn't know the was that low. Okay, PSI. Go ahead and keep this tactic up. And I will PSI life up. Give up. Crap, I keep forgetting that. Okay, Veda will work. Alright, that hole. Oh, I hate it when he does that attack. Oh, wait, I just remembered something. He, uh,. He actually does have a bit of a weakness. And you can beat him without a certain tactic by uh, poisoning him, believe it or not, with the snake bag. However, that takes freaking forever, so I'm not going to I'm not going to play that rule. So, just go ahead and shoot. And since you have brain shock, let's not be enough TP to use it. Yes. Okay, didn't work. Okay. Oh, crap. Okay, uh... Uh, shoot. I don't think I really have anything I can do. Okay, PSI. Or do you have anything I can use? Point of life? Okay, then I'll just do this. PSI healing. 
Oh, actually, you know what? I got an idea. PSI. Life of Omega. Use the Horn of Life on Pooh. Jeff, you can't really do anything. Dang, he's really doing damage. And everybody's okay. Thank you. Now I can just go ahead and go all out. Uh, do not. Oh, crap. Uh, PSI healing on Jeff. Just bash. Do nothing and bash. Oh, wow. Bash is doing nothing. Ow. Uh, uh, ow. That did not work. Uh, good. Magic Tart. Poo. Paula. Can you freeze? Uh, uh. Oh, just do damage. Well, I did something. Thank you, fucking badge. And thank you, bad aim. Okay, that should just be enough. Okay, bash. Nothing. PSI. Okay, I'm gonna waste it all here just to bring Jeff back. Didn't work, didn't work. Crap. Okay, no one died. Alright, Jeff. Hey, Bazooka. Oh, he's gotta he's gotta go down sooner or later. <laughs> you must really be a kid in your game. In this bizarre city dimension, you four are the only force fighting for justice. And here you stand, a way to be burned up with all the rest of the garbage of the universe. Ha! <laughs> That's so sad, I can't help but shed a tear. You know my heart is beating incredibly fast. I must be experiencing absolute terror. Do you want to scream for help in the dark? <laughs> Wanna call for your mommy, Ness? Say, Mommy, Daddy, I'm so frightened, I think I'm gonna wet my pants. I know you have telepathy or something, so just try and call for help. You pathetically weak heroes of so-called justice. No one will help you now. <laughs> Don't worry, your pitiful suffering will all be over soon. And things get freakier. Oh boy, right now, um, 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 shield over Paula. Paula, pray? Because in all honesty, right now, no attack is going to do anything. No joke. Your attacks are pretty much useless right now. Uh, mirror. Try it. Please ah! ah! feel strength if it is possible. Please, somebody help us. Stop going down! Mr. Saturn felt a new startling feeling they had never experienced before, and they all started praying for the safety of Ness and his friends. <laughs> and things are gonna get freakier! Enjoy. back. Uh, that's all we can really do. Jeff. Um. Um. Uh. Hungry HP, sucker. Yes.
Grab! Okay, life of Omega, even though Jeff's gone. Spray again, because that's even looking for. Please give us strength. Anyone who could hear our plea, help us. Suddenly, one of the runaway five felt something stop him, and he prayed servantly for the safety of Ness and his friends. Doing damage, but not a whole lot. Okay, uh. Crap. I really. Um. You know what? Pooh, you get a magic trouble since you're pretty much, uh. our safety right here. As long as it's, as long as we're okay. Please give us strength. Speed this prayer to all the people on the earth. Paula's father thought he somehow heard his daughter's voice and prayed sincerely for the safety of Paul and her friends. Oh, wow, that damage is progressing, but still not a whole lot. Um, oh, I wish I could do something here. Uh, defend. Keep praying, that's doing something. PSI, healing. Jeff, come back to us. <sighs> so sadness. It hurts. This. Work and work. Okay. Oh, crap. Please give us strength. Anyone could hear our plea, help us. Suddenly, Tony felt anxious about Jeff, and he prayed strongly for the safety of Jeff and his friends. Well, that damage is progressing. Okay, defend. Pray. Defend! I feel good. Sweet, he didn't get an attack down. Please grant us power. Anyone can hear Please help us. A young woman, Dala, woke from a dream in which Prince Pooh died and she began to pray for the well-being of Pooh and his friends. Whoa! That damage is building up! Okay, defend! Pray! Defend! Yes! I'm happy! Oh no. Oh, zap! Sweet! Please grant us strength. Anyone who could hear a plea, we ask for this. Suddenly, Frank recalled Ness's shiny young face and began to pray diligently for the safety of Ness and his friends.
Dang, that damage is building. Okay, defend. Pray. Defend. It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> Please grant us power to speed the spirit of all the people on the earth. Suddenly, Ness's mother felt terribly uneasy, and she began to pray for the safety of her son and his friends. Whoa! Quadruple digits! Whoa! What is going on? Uh, it hurts. It hurts. Worked and worked. Yes. I can't think of anyone else. Someone, anyone, please help us. Paul's call was absorbed by the darkness. Oh come on! There's got to be someone, anyone. Someone, can you hear me? Please give us strength. Paul and her friends call touched the heart of Fridge. Er, prayed for her kids, having never even met them before. Yeah! Fridge kept praying. Yeah! Fidge kept praying. Dude! Fire J kept praying. Oh, and he is down for the count! In a freaky fashion. This! No, I, well, I was going to seem like I'm running away, but perhaps I'll just sneak away to the other area to think about my next plan. Good bet that we will see each other again. Alright, I'll be seeing you. So now, which one of us do you think is the cool guy? Whoa. Uh. Uh, oh, crap. My losing connection. Which plug was that again? This is Ness. I forgot he's in the robot body, so this is what he's seeing. Whoa. Well, seems like someone powered down. The war against Gygas is over. What the? Wait a minute.
us a proper burial. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that what I think it is? It is! Who am I kidding? This is an RPG! Of course they come back to life! I know I ranted about that before, but Earthbound, I'll admit, pulls it off somehow. Because really, can you imagine Ness dying? That doesn't fit. Travels together and here. I must return to the lawn and use the experience for my good of my country. Ness, Paula, Jeff, let me demonstrate a strange power before I go. I realized this power as a child. PSI, farewell. Now! I'll see you again someday. Whee! Whoa, Boofy. Hey, presents! Are just rewards! Hey, 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 back off! That's Ness's woman. And I don't swing that way, thank you. Paula, Ness, it was great to hang out with you guys. It really was. I'm glad that I had the chance to use some of these theories that I have been studying so hard. It's remarkable. If, just maybe. Well, if you two get hitched someday, maybe I'll be the one that fixes your broken electronic appliances. I'm gonna stay here for a while and see if I can learn more from Dr. Annans. I mean, from my dad. So it looks like this is goodbye for now, my friends. Will you escort me home? Sure. I'll miss all of you, but I have to go back to being just a regular kid. Well, I gotta get going. Yeah, a regular kid is really... And a letter from Mom. Okay. A uh, letter from Tony. Incredible. Excellent. I'm not quite sure what for gra congratulations on a job well done. If we were to have the chance to get together again, let's go on a picnic or something. Maybe we could play horseshoes, too. It was winters we last met. I just got here. TTT. The chance of Gygax getting victory with this monstrous plan is 99%. However, your courage has produced a 1% chance that Gygax fails. I must try to come to a deeper understanding of this trait called courage. It's a miracle. A miracle that has only happened because of your great courage. Believe me, I went through a lifetime towards a stress while you were gone. I just wish I could have come with you guys as a robot. I should have used the phase disorder. What a story that would have been. Scientists and four kids save the world. <laughs> it was fun hanging out together. So, and a letter from the kids. All right. Well, before we go anywhere else, let's check these out. Dear Paula, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine too. So are me. Me also. Me okay. Please come and play with us again at Polo Star Preschool. Oh yeah, one more thing. Bring us some presents if you have any. Sincerely, your friends at Polo Star Preschool. Aww. Alright, so let's see what my mom has to say. Dear Ness, how are you? Since you left home on your journey, things have changed around here. For example, I don't have as much laundry. Also, we don't seem to eat steak as much as we used to. I heard that you defeated some universal evil character that was it. What was it? Googie or something like that? Well, that sounds really great. I want to hear all the details, so hurry home, okay? Tracy, King, and I are waiting for you. Love, Mama. And finally, a letter from Tony. Dear Jeff, everything's really going great here. I wish I could have gone with you on your adventure, even just part of the way. But instead, I'm sitting here waiting for you in winters. I want to see you again as soon as possible. I can't wait to see your cheerful face. I bet your glasses are dirty. If you come back, I'll clean them for you. Like I said, I'm waiting for you. Yours truly, Tony. P.S. Don't show this letter to anyone. Too late! Alright, um... I, you can actually... He I did not know you could actually do the doctor... Because, um, hotels you can't do anymore. I mean, I think you can with one. I think it's the Mr. Saturn set. Yep, okay. Um, but, call dad. Hi, it's your dad. To get to the next level, <laughs> I guess I don't need to tell you this anymore. Next week will be your birthday, Ness. I'm trying very hard to be home that, for that big day. I'll be sure to get you a good present. I've been following your adventures closely, but I want to hear about them from you in person. You sound a lot more mature over the phone. Well, I'll see you at home then. Bye. 
Hello, Ness. You can finally come home. So that means... Oh, thank heavens. You did it and you're safe. I'm not exactly sure what you did, but anyway, if you come home quick, I'll make some steak. Get here as soon as you can. I can't wait to see your bright and shining face. Click. Beep, beep, beep. Hello, this is the Escort Go Express. Trace doesn't work here anymore. Yeah, she used to work here part-time. Huh? This is Ness, Trace's big brother? I've heard about the great work you're doing. It's an honor to talk to you, sir. Oh, you're calling from delivery? Uh, I'm very sorry. My wife is out on maternity leave, so... I'm taking care of my little kid. I decided to take some time off from this delivery business. It's right next to the fridge, but put it in the microwave. That's it. Sorry about that. I'm a little busy right now, as you heard. I really would like to hear some of your stories. Zoinks! Oh, what? That was the dog's food! Hey, hey! Now look, what you've done... I'm sorry, I have to go. Goodbye. Hello, this is my pizza. Our delivery man got tired and quit, so we decided to close the shop. Thank you for consistently using us for all your pizza needs. Oh yeah, I never did deliver pizza. Ah, it's not that big. Yo, this is the lazy, this is the lazy cowpoke stop and go. Yeah, we're a new truck stop. We just opened. What's that? The Stow Club. That lame old place shut down ages ago. We totally remodeled the place. Now I got loud music, great food, and really the rowdy crowds. Listen, buddy, I'm too busy to talk to you right now. Just drop by anytime you come. You enjoy. I promise. Click. Alrighty, so. Before I take you home, let's check out the area a bit. Because there are a few places we can check out that'll... It, it just seems interesting. I can start off with number three being the underworld, but no. Tend to village. Mm, you know what? Yeah, let's go to Tend to village, see if they have anything to say. Alright, so I'm wondering if these guys even say anything different. They might not. Smile. Probably. Oh. Welcome to this far. Take a rest. Long journey. It must have been. Oh, okay. They do say something. In this hole, in we have. Free stay? No. I'm a woman. Did you think I was a man? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. But I will return now. Thank you very much. We're living in peace now in a wide variety of lifestyles. Thank you very much. Oh, did I not do this? Oh, man. Whoops. Um, well, I guess no better time than the present. Um, well, it's another one of those coffee scenes. My bad. Whoops. Oh, well, it's, it's not a big deal. I just wish I showed that off a little earlier. My bad. I, I forgot about that big time. Whoops. Alright, so let's go ahead and head over to... Deep Darkness, Delon. Let's go ahead and check out Delon. See how Pooh's doing. Okay, go ahead and sign and check everything out. Alright, Pooh. You're here. We have little but stay and rest for a while. But I'm impressed. You did so well for one who hasn't had much training. I learned the art of prophecy foretold of our only chance for success. Please enjoy life ahead of you as a regular boy. Dude, there's no way I'm regular. I have psychic abilities. If I get ticked, someone is going to get hurt or have their head exploded. I and okay, what's next? Scaraba mm, Summers. Okay, I think it's a hotel here that's pretty cool. Thank you again, Poke. Uh Mr. Ness? Sorry, sir, but I'm afraid that we do not have any reservations on your name. Oh, I thought you did something different. Oh, wait, does the ATM do something? Oh, no. Okay, I, I'm really bad at this. All right. So let's check out the store club and see how much it changed. Oh, pff, if I go the right way, of course. Uh, this is one time I excuse myself for having a long episode. I can go to the restaurant, but I won't. Go into the shop. 
Oh, it's not the shop. What am I doing? Okay, it should be... Yep, right here. This is now a truck stop. Absolutely no miners admitted. The management, the lazy cowpoke stop and go. Ha! <laughs> Um, the thing about the museum, you know how I left that one guy alive? Um, well, essentially, if you go in there and you die after you defeat Gygas, it'll glitch out the game. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm not. Well, I want to thank you for all the times that you used the hit shop. It's been a while since I first saw you. This is my final day in business. Well, so long, kid. No, no, Master Ness. See you again, if fate follows it. Alright, so that's all I'm gonna do here. I know I might be missing a few things, but I'm not going for a perfect score. Um, Winters. Do I want to go there? It would take me to... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm not going to worry about Winters. Okay, good. Okay. Now we're going to head to Foreside. Because there are a few things we can do there. Alright, so. Walking around here. There's lots of junk like this bulletin board at the junk shop. Busted up. Located in the back alley of the department store. Ha <laughs> uh, Well, there's a hospital, but I'm not going to bother with that. No need to. I'm fine. I'm not drinking the... I ate these hiccups. Yep, there. Another cappuccino here. Oh, boy. I can't believe it. We actually beat the game. Hey, long time no see. I thought of new jokes since before. Knock, knock. Who's there? Sawyer. Sawyer who? Sawyer doing well. I'm fine too. <laughs> you don't think it's funny. I really thought it would be funny to you. Now my self-conscious is totally shot back to therapy. Sorry about the other day. This sidewalk cafe isn't as profitable as it used to be. This is just a hangout for the regulars. Whee! This pokey left me his own dad and just disappeared. If you see him, tell him that we should take better care of his father. Don't tell my wife, no, Annette, that I've been spending my time in. <laughs> Whee! Good evening, hero. How about an espresso? No, don't drink coffee. Uh, the hint that I gave you was critical to helping you win. Happy, happy! We rock! <laughs> uh, whatever makes him happy, I guess. Whatever makes him happy. Uh, I can go ahead and check out the museum if I wanted to, but I'm just going to leave the museum behind, because like I said, I'm not going to go ahead and show off that glitch. I don't see why. Uh, what's going on in the theater? I'm curious, actually. Do you want to buy a ticket? Jeez, what do I have to buy? You know what? No, I just want the ticket. Thank you. Okay, uh, what else do we have here? Oh, I know what I want to check out. The Hey! You're very young, but you brought something very precious back to the people in this town. Thank you. Aww. Cavity inducing sweetness. Okay, so we're going to want to head over to wherever it is. And right here. The Montoli building. Last night there was a solitaire tournament. I lost my sh okay, we heard you say this before. Oh hey! Montoli! Oh Nespola, I'm Gelgud Rain Montoli. Don't you remember me? I returned this building to Mr. Enrich Flavor. Now I'm working as an elevator man. I'm very happy and it's good to be alive. I heard your many successes. Wonderful! Hello, babyface. Oh, I bring you to Enrich Flavor building. <laughs> that essentially does it here. Like I said, if I'm missing a few things, my bad. But, yep, this is the last episode, so sue me. Alright, time to head to Threed. Not really much I can do here, actually, now I think about it. It's dark, but thanks to you, now it's bright. Hey, I heard you got a share of the treasure found in the desert. It doesn't seem to change you at all, though. I'm not a greedy person, what can I say? Um, I don't think there's anything we can really focus on here. So, I just might have came here for no reason. But, it's nice to just go on a walk with Paula. That's just one thing you got, like, the... Did I really not activate this one? Wow, I am off the topic today. Well, at least we got it. Okay, I know I hate this guy beyond belief, but still. But yeah, it's always nice to just play through this game when you beat the game. Just walk, 
and just walk around and check everything out. It's, and that's one nice touch they did with this game. Hey, are you still here? Yes, you are. Shh, don't talk too loud. What do you want? So I think it's keep on the watch for bad guys. All right, so we are pretty much good here. Um, PSI Teleport Beta to Tucson. Yep, time to drop Paul off. Can't have a round for too long. Uh, I wonder what the cycle shop has to say. I've been here in a while. Do we ride a bike? That's not gonna work. Two people on a bike is strictly forbidden. But I wanna ride my bicycle. I wanna ride my bike. All right, to some department store. Yep, time to just go on the walk home. It was a fun run. Like I said, if I'm missing a few things, don't worry about it. Just don't tackle me on it. I just played this game. I'm not perfect at it. I don't know everything about it. I'm just, I just want to enjoy the game. I don't want to hear what I missed and what I didn't. And not only that, this is a nice, nice part of the game where you get to just walk on home. Walk on home. Seems ca it's kind of dangerous, but there's some great stuff there. Well, I'm not gonna worry about that. Alrighty, here we are. Miss, thank you for escorting me home. There was something I wanted to tell you, but I forgot it. I'm sure I'll remember by the time I see you again. Well, I guess this is it. Goodbye. Um, so long. See ya. Bye. But I got more to say! 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 You've lost some weight since I saw you last, Ness. But I must have had quite an adventure. I'm glad you got so close to us. Why don't you drop by more often? I'm working on making a better steak. You said steak. I'm in. You're a very strong young man. My opinion of you has changed. Perhaps you should continue dating Paula. Ooh! You can sleep on the living room couch instead of the one in the den. Ha <laughs> Yeah! Kitty! Meow. Okay. And Paula, yes, I guess it's time for you to go home. Everyone is probably worried about you. I guess. I am getting kind of tired, so I guess I, can, I should probably head home. Uh, it was a fun run. Alrighty, so, for the last time, PS. Oh, shoot. Okay, eight. Okay. For the last time, teleport. Beta! Woo! It had to end that. Oh, okay. Apparently not the last time. <laughs> you know what? I haven't done this in a while. Let's just go alpha. Holy crap! Alright. Time to end it. It was a fun run. It was indeed. Oh, but we have to return that book. That would have been a bad idea. We need to return that book. I can't keep that. Finally, you've come to return the book. Seems like you finished it. You're such a good boy. As a reward, I'll give you a kiss. That wasn't a kiss. That was a smack. All right. Well, nowhere else to go but up. Back, back home. I find that so great how they end the game off with where we began. That is an awesome, awesome part of this game. All right. But first, we should probably tell where he is at, and whoa, who are you? Salutations, you're the boy living next door. I heard that your family's in debt. Miss Mitch told me about it. Well, live and learn, you just have to keep plugging away. What? As usual, you're wearing your grubbies, so what do you want? My son isn't home right now, he's walking around somewhere. My husband is also gone. Oh yes, this is Mr. Prettyman. He always has great advice. He's a real gentleman, he is. You'll be happy to meet him. And, um, uh, since so I'm not gonna go back down, I'm gonna say this, um, Tony, or er, not Tony, Frankie, he became a luchador wrestler, a mass wrestler, wrestler, wrestler. He's a wrestler. End of story. All right, well we're here. Wow, you've come such a strong young man. I'd like to hear all your stories, but I don't want to annoy you as soon as you walk through the door. After all your chats with people you met on your adventure are finally over, please come back here. The photo man brought an album by. I'd like to look at it with you. Well, did you finish doing everything that you want? 
wanted to do. Yep. Okay, now you can finally share your incredible experience with me. You did so well. <sighs> and we do a dance. We do a dance for the end. We do a special dance for the end. The end! And that's the end of Earthbound! Oh man, I can't believe it. This I started this, this was my first, my, well, one of my first uh, LPs to start up. And it's been so long to just finish it. I cannot believe how long I put off for this. It, I feel so bad for this. Just because of how long I, I put this off for. I can't believe I was willing to just wait so long just to do Earthbound. I can't believe it. it was such an amazing game it is. Uh, but yeah, that's the end of the game. We gotta get we get a special credit reel with the characters that joined us with our adventure. Orange Kid, I didn't shot Super Roma. It's nothing really special. I wish I did, but I didn't take it out really much, so my bad. But uh, the Super Roma, it just plays the O2 Orange Kid, and then it breaks. And the runway five! Where's the sixth guy? Oh, hello, happy happiest. And Pokey, you're gone. Get out of here. Get, get. Bubble Monkey! Maxwell, Tony, Tessie! 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 Tessie Watching Club. I am part of that club. Brick Road! Uh, but, um... You know, the way I see it, after Earthbound, the next game that's going to come to an end will be Sly Cooper, and then after that, I'll be starting off my new LP, if I get it soon enough, because um, the, uh, the copy I got of the game that I thought it was, it, it was just the case, and the game inside of it was totally different, so I'm trying to find a new one. But um, I will do that game next. I just need to get it, and it will be blind. So yeah, happy happy, this makes things a little bit better, because that means once I get it, I'll probably have less of a gap to fill in. But yeah. Pokey, get. Jeez, I'm getting sick of him. Aw, come on, let the guy have his fun. You've just seen Venus. Boo! 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 Star Master! Yep, forget Star Men, we got Star Masters. And I think after this, oh, Dungeon Man! Dungeon Man! Dungeon Man! Wow. Ten to Tribesman. Saturn, you're not a Tribesman. Oh. Oh, the Flying Men! Yeah, I kind of, I find that kind of strange how like start out Graves, but uh, I don't, I don't blame him. And here are the cast of the nameless characters that were just standing around. Oh, but man, this was one heck of an LP. Considering my computer crashing, starting it off all lazy-like, learning how to turn on my microphone, learning how to sync the videos, it just made things so... Oh, man, I cannot believe it took this long to do this LP, because... This game is only moderate length. It's not too long, and it's not too short, but still. It's a good game to play, and there you go. That's the end of the game. So, until next time, guys. Oh, wait a minute. Do you not leave me alone? Wait, what are you doing? Is he actually leaving me alone for once? Oh, no, no, he's got a bigger camera. Joy. And wait, he's pointing at me. It's the end of the game, why not? And now we got the actual credits of the game. Now the photo man, whatever pictures he took throughout the game, that's what this credit reel is made of. Produced and directed by Shigazatoi Toy and written by Shigazatoi Toy. Ah, such a great game creator. 
Uh, the reason why that one has Pooh and Jeff in it is because, well, I went there a little late, so sue me. <laughs> uh, but, yep, the game's over. Oh, man, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I just can't. No more Earthbound LP. It's, it's gonna be different. It, it really is. Because when you get, like, so used to a game, it's really hard to move on after you beat it, because you just wonder, what did I miss? Did I do this right? Uh, you just always think of that game for a while until you get over it. And hey, that bear's not looking at the picture! Ah, uh, but, man, I really, I really have no clue what to think right now. This is, this is a great LP. This is, this is the one that I'm really glad I did. As strange as it may sound, I'm glad to get it out of the way. Because this means I actually get to make space for another LP come time. Um, the concept of the Mr. Saturn LP, or the Mr. Saturn font, it was actually from Shigazato's uh, child. I just, I remember, I remember that fact, and I just thought I might as well say, because that's an interesting thing to mention. Oh man, all these these photos really are bringing back good memories. You just play into the game, getting all excited about everything. Just having fun. That's what this game is all about. That is what Earthbound is. It's I love plot games, which this one did. But it tries to more focus on what's fun. Not just what 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 uh, the story is driven by. It's just about having fun. What the characters, the items, the scenarios. It's a game destined to be fun. I mean, well, except for, I guess, but that's a different story. Yeah, but I really enjoy this game. I, It's one of those games that you, you have to take a break from a while right now and then, but once it breaks over, you're glad that you came back. Oh, boy. It was, it was a good run. It was. I totally enjoyed this game. Uh, so what do we got for the names here? My Yumi Tada! Uh... Mapper Kojima! Wait, wait a minute. Is that just a clever... Yes. Shikazato Okay Itoi? Yukari Whistle Sato? Hiro Hirokazi Belt Koyano? Etsu Venus Kuwano? Tatsuki Mu Wantabe? Opening Rock Guitar, MD Sigger. Uh, hardware Support. Kakui. Kakui. Kaizo Kato. I hear Kaizo's pretty evil with the Mario. Let us see another name. Kawahara! Kawahara! Alright, sound producers. Ritsu Kumimura and Akio Umori. Oh boy, here comes special thanks. Um, let's see, any good ones? Any good ones? Fukashi Umuyorita! Yukio Takashashi! <laughs> I'm not saying these right, jeez. Benimaro Ito! Masao Totori! Natsi, Yoshitaki, and many others. The producers wish to thank Ishell Artvision, Moonrider's Office, Seta Co. Ltd. Ooh, lucky nice, lucky nice. Ashura Office, Shincho Sha, Shincho Sha, Shincho Sha. Marcus Lin. I love the name Marcus. I, I don't know why. That's just one of my favorite names. Marcus. Uh, Sunkaz Ishitsara. Saturi Wada. Mike Fukuda. I love these names. Oh, yep. Yeah, Shigeru Miyamoto. You know he's always supervising these things. And now come the big wigs, the executive producers Hiroshi Yamaguchi and Minoru Arakawa. And of course, Nintendo with associations with Ape Inc., which I really don't know much about. And HAL Laboratory! Yep! Guys behind Super Smash Bros. and Kirby, HAL Laboratory! And... There's one more. One... That's the most important part of the game. Player Fire J! Yep, that's what I'm talking about! I defeated Gygas, I deserve to get recognition. Uh, but, yep, yeah, that's the game for you. Not much else to really say about it. It's uh, a game I definitely recommend to the RPG and just gamer criteria, because...
This game is fun. It's RPG elemented. It's a great game. What do I need to say? I mean, I don't know what else I could possibly say. The game is great. End of story. That's all I need to say. The game is great. Oh, man. I I mean, it's good. Wait a minute. I thought this was a free screen. Um, what's... Okay, is this the free screen? Or... Wait a minute. What? Oh, gee, Dad, thanks. I'm pretty sure... Oh, no! No, 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 no! No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, God, I was scared there. That was another... Oh, my God, that would have been so bad. Um, okay, what's going on? This is like a game pl No, I got everything, so what's going on? What annoying knock. Wait a minute. Annoying knock? Oh no. 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 No! Oh, it's Picky. Alright. What's up, man? A letter arrived from my brother Pokey. It's addressed to Ness. There's no stamp, and it's not time for the mailman to come. Anyway, I brought it over. It says, Come and get me, loser. Spankity, spankity, spankity. I wonder where he is. I don't know. I don't want to know. The end. Or is it? Now this is the real free screen. Alright, well, it was nice to play this game with you guys. And I will see you continuing either with Sly Cooper or Fire Emblem. I will see you guys then.